Suresh Yadav. Here I am going to deliver with ECT electroconvulsive therapy. So now we will see electroconvulsive therapy definition. What does it mean? Electroconvulsive therapy. It means it is the artificial induction of grand mal seizure through the application of electrical current. It means we are giving to the patients in case of the depression and all, putting the electrodes on the persons respected head siders, right hand person dominating right side and other persons means both side. So we will providing the electrical convulsions to the persons through the application of electrical impulses or electrical current. It means next we will see how much transferring the current. Current is applied 70 to 120 volts for 0 0.7 to 1.5 seconds. In which conditions we can give the ECT? It means indications. Indications in the sense, indications means major depression. In case of the major depression, we can give the ECT and severe catatonia in case persons is having catatonic stupor or excitement in case of the severe catatonia we can give the ect as well as organic mental disorders and severe psychosis such as schizophrenic conditions we can give the ect and next a contraindication next we will move on the contraindications contraindications means in which condition we should avoid the ect it is again classified into two types absolute and relative contraindications absolute means icp intracranial pressure in case of that we should avoid the ect and relative contraindications cerebral aneurysm brain tumor in this condition such conditions we should not give the ect next we will move on the types of ect types of ect is classified into two types direct ect and indirect ect direct ect in the sense without any muscle relaxants or anesthesia we directly providing the ect to the client in case of the indirect ect it is also known as modified ect in this type of ect we are giving muscle relaxants as well as anesthesia also to the client so it is most probably in use next we will see the side effects what are all the side effects of the ecc side effect may be drowsiness restlessness memory impairment memory impairment means person might be forgetting the sudden things after the ect and getting restlessness such type of the dryness of mouth tongue bite may be there will be passing the electrical currents then suddenly person may go for tongue bite these are all the side effects which can occur during the ECT. Next we will move on the nurse's responsibility. What are all the nurse's responsibility during the ECT? It is again classified in three phases. First of all, we will see pre-treatment evaluation. Second one is intra-procedure care and third one is post-procedure care. Pre-treatment evaluation in the sense nurses having the responsibility to collect the history from the client then she will go for the written consent means person have to give the written consent about the procedure which we are doing for the client next she have to withhold night doses such as diacepam and all diacepam and all then morning doses also should be holded should not give any morning doses before going to ect he should have client should have the empty bowel and should be explain the procedure to win the confidence of the client next second phase we will move care during the intra care during the procedure first of all nurse has to place to the client in case of the trolley or the ect table then have to check out the all the equipments whether all those in working condition or not then she have to check the vital signs and have to go for the findings next we will move on the next step that is the post procedure care last of all the post procedure care nurse have to check all the allergic reactions and all the side effects and have to continue monitor 100 percent oxygen should be given to the client and have to reorient the situation fully until and unless reoriented the client nurse should not leave alone to the client and finally nurse has to go for the recording and reportings thank you